I've had the privilege of flying a lot of RC planes over the years, and a lot of them come from different places. So today I want to go through it, starting with HorizonHobby.com. Now, credit where credit is due, they did make a pretty iconic UMX series, but some of their stuff is a little overpriced and not the best quality. Next up is FMSHobby.com. Now, they have some of the best ready-to-fly beginner planes that I absolutely love, but they also have some good options for big jets, like this J11 and the A10. Now, the only issue I have with FMS is that Horizon Hobby has their USA rights, so you won't find these in local hobby stores. Now, this B17 is from HobbyKing.com. This is the only plane I currently have from Hobby King, but I did recently buy another one, so I'm excited for that to come. And then we have MotionRC.com. Now, MotionRC has some of the nicest scale jets I've flown, and I love customizing these things. But a lot of them do need two batteries, and they are pretty pricey. But they do fly amazing, and over the years, with a lot of rough landings, they've proven to be pretty durable. Next, we have Flex Innovations. Now, I've flown two planes from them, this RV-8 and the Cap-232. And to be honest, I really don't have any complaints with these guys. They're some top-notch, highly designed airplanes. And then we have BananaHobby.com. Now, depending who you talk to, this company usually has a bad reputation. But to be honest, this V-22 is the only thing I've flown from them. And it flies exactly the way it should. I really like it. Now, last but definitely not least is HSDJets.com. They make the biggest foam planes you're going to find. Super high quality, super expensive. And like I said, these things are definitely, definitely big.